ามกระสวงสวัสดีค่ะพ่อแม่พี่น้องวันนี้ใครไปปิดกระสวกระสวงกับตันมาบ้างคะโอ้เต็มเลยเต็มเลยสนุกไหมพรุ่งนี้ไปกันใหม่เนาะเพราะได้ข่าวว่ารัฐมนตรีกระทรวงวิทยาศาสตร์ที่วันนี้เราเกือบจะได้เห็นหน้าแล้วค่ะพอดีเขาเขารีบหนีออกไปก่อนเปลี่ยนรถหนีออกไปก่อนนะพ่อแม่พี่น้องเดี๋ยวพรุ่งนี้เราไปดูหน้าเขากันดีไหมคะหรือไปห้องทํางานเขาดีเพื่อไม่ให้เป็นการเสียเวลาขออนุญาตสรุปข่าวเป็นภาคภาษาอังกฤษเลยนะคะ Ladies and gentlemen, to all our foreign press media and our experts. This is another sad day for us. Yesterday, we just held a tribute for the eight-year-old girl who lost her life in the Trat bombing. And here we are again tonight, remembering Nong Kek and Nong Ken and Kun Thi Pa Han. We implore those ethical police officers Those who have vowed to protect the people and enforce the law, to not stand by any longer. Please perform your duty, apprehend the terrorist, and bring those responsible to justice, so the loss of these innocents are not in vain. Kun s u t e b t u r k Suban, secretary to the PDRC, said on stage tonight. Do not be swayed by those who attempt to blame our peaceful, unarmed demonstrations for these innocent deaths. We are not the ones fighting to stay in power. We are not fighting for the benefit of our personal gain or authority. We are fighting for a better government, for a better future for Thailand. We are fighting for a much-needed reform for this country. Kun Suter called upon all the police to enforce and uphold the law, as they once swore when they entered the forces, to protect the people and not to serve politicians. Yet today, no suspect in the various attacks on the demonstrators have been apprehended. Whether in the provinces or in Bangkok, but the loss of these children are just too much. They were sacrificed in the Thaksin's regime pursuit of power, a power which will be used to suppress the Thai people. The law is sacred; the police must enforce it, even against the caretaker prime minister if she is found guilty. This Wednesday at 10 a.m., Kun Suter invites everyone to wear black and to assemble in front of the National Police Headquarter. To those of you who are parents, university students, civil servants, member of the public, who believes in justice, it is time for us to demand justice for these three children who lost their lives. Come and join us, and let us mourn these innocents nationwide by wearing black for three days, starting on Wednesday. In the wake of this slaughter, Ying Lak Shinawat responded by posting on her Facebook, claiming that the Trat and the Rasha Prasong bombing were terrorist act for political gain. Our civil uprising has been peaceful, unarmed, and non-violent. We have not incited the use of force by our demonstrators against anyone, including against Ying Lak and her cronies, because we are fighting the good fight. However, it is a fact that those who attack the peaceful demonstrators. Our servants of the Thaksin's regime and Ying Lak Shinawat. It is a fact that the UDD leader, the Red Shirt leaders, uses violence to get their way during their attack back in 2009 and 2010. 
Once these terrorists came into power with this government, they dared to attempt to whitewash their own crimes and corruption via the amnesty bill. Ying Lakshinawat, after hiding for several days, resurfaced today in person. She asserted that she would stay in office until the very last minute her authority expires in order to defend democracy. You, DD leader, organized a war drum rally yesterday in Nakhon Rajasima in the name of democracy. They suggested that it would be democratic for Ying Luck not to appear before the NACC to hear of her charges on the 27th of February. They said that it is democratic for elected officials to place themselves above the rule of law. This is why we have risen up against the form of fake democracy, supporting the tyranny of the majority. This is why we are demanding reform before the next election. At the UDD rally, they also discussed the possibility of dividing Thailand into two. Natawut Saige said the UDD and Red Shirts will fight to defend Ying Luck. He has called the police force and their families to arm themselves and fight the demonstrators and Muon Mahaprachachon. He said the UDD would start a civil war with the UDD troops in every provinces to fight the PDRC, and that the government house should be moved to the north or in the east of Thailand. He said that if Ying Luck's government is defeated, the UDD would be ready to support an exile government as well as shut down all independent organization established under our constitution. We will not engage in a civil war. We have paid taxes to support these, those individuals whose duties is to prevent such event from occurring. We therefore call on all civil servants, police, and the army to really examine what is happening in our country. This is a matter of national security for which you are all responsible. We have done our civic duty to the best to defend our country from the Tuxens regime. Within the limits of our constitutional rights, however, it is now your duty. For our children, our future, our nation, we must uproot and eradicate the Tuxens regime. It is our duty to chase Ying Luck out of office every day, every occasion until she resigns. Ying Luck, there is no place for you to stand among us. We call on all civil servants to stop serving the Tuxens regime. You can either be with us or against us. Please pick the right side and join our fight for justice. We will continue our course of peace, unarmed, non-violent demonstration. We will not surrender an inch to the Tuxens regime. Thank you and good night.